What's going on, 300 Supercars? My name is Mike, and welcome back to our brand new video. Welcome back to Naples, Florida. I got my good friend Brian Davis over here, masterminding some sort of scheme. I have my beautiful girlfriend, Falana, over here. Wasn't feeling well earlier, so I got to put my first two years of medical school knowledge to the test today and look in her ear. Of course, I'm not a medical professional at all yet, but I can tell you that she does have some inflammation in her left ear and might have an ear infection. We need to get her maybe to an urgent care. And then we also have our dog, Suede, who's a Belgian Malinois, who is the cutest puppy ever. Can you Sit, please. Sit, please, please. <laughs> Good girl. So we're gonna be taking her for a little quick walk, and then we're gonna be coming back and hanging out with Brian at the pool tomorrow. The Ritz Carlton is opening up here, which should be awesome. Of course, we got my dad, Dr. K, who seems to be growing faster than me ever on social media. He's gonna be here with us tomorrow, and we're gonna go check out the Ritz. That should be pretty fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. The last video was really, really fun. My girlfriend surprised me for my 27th birthday. I really wish our balcony was open here, but it's not right now because they're still finishing it up. Check out how beautiful Naples looks today. Absolutely incredible. So let's go. Zoomies. Falana's driving today, GT Black Series. This car's been kind of the workhorse. It's got like 6,300 miles on it. Doesn't really have a cold start today because it's been driven already today, but I love this thing. Looks absolutely insane. Obviously, Falana has a G80 M3 you guys have seen. She's been building it out a little bit, unfortunately. Don't have all the money right now to do everything we want to do to it, but at heart, Falana's an AMG girl. And yes, it's already warm before I get the hater comments saying that, oh, she's the, she didn't let the car warm up. It was already warmed up. That's why I was on the first floor, not in the garage. This way it is not very happy with us right now, and that's okay. She will be later when she gets a bump out. <laughs> All right, well, we didn't really vlog too much, but we got badass coffee. Sweet. That sums it up. That is like deafening roar. <laughs> oh my God. It looks like you just ran a 10K. It's so hot. Turn it on you. She gets air down there. Oh, Brian's right behind us. Look it. Dude, we just went for walk. Look at Sway. so hot. hot. We're dying. So is Sway okay? Yeah, yeah, she's all right. Curiousness though, when you take your dog out and you know, heat like this, they do sweat through their paws. I never knew that. Probably should have known that from anatomy and stuff in college, but you know, it's really, really important that your dog is well hydrated and that walk outside in temperatures like this, you want to make sure they have booties on and stuff because it'd be really, really bad if they're not. Ways to tell if it's time to put booties on your dog is go outside where you're going to be walking and put the back of your hand on the ground and if you can hold it there for seven plus seconds then they're fine usually fine with no booties but if you can't stand it it's going to be extremely uncomfortable and you can burn their paw pads and they sweat through their paws too which is a big thing we're down by fifth avenue right now in florida fashion looks like it's going to rain another dog fat if what? you don't bring water on the walk and your dog is panting like this yeah do not give them water as soon as you get in the house because it can cause bloat because of their activity that's a center it's at a nice spot baby that's nice it can cause bloat cause their stomach to twist so the best thing to do is put cold water on their chest you guys like the center by the way look at that alpina too oh and spotting you like the center i love the center i like McLaren. not the biggest issues Kid, despite they're literally melting. I'm surprised it's McLaren's out here in the sun and not melting. Fifth Avenue though is so sick, guys. I mean, it's 97 degrees outside, which I don't know if it's focusing on there, but the brick. You guys want good coffee? It's another really good coffee place. Racing Shelby's Cupcakes. Could have got cupcakes the other day for my birthday there. That's about the that? place I was gonna go to, but they had two stars in Royal Morpheus. Oh, that damn. was one of the places I loved. Look at that Urus. You like that color? I think it's either gonna be all black or you gotta have like some. Is that a wrap? Ocean Prime and Inn on Fifth are so cool. Flan and I always say we want to stay here one night. Just see what it's like, because I've never been no, to the Inn on Fifth. it looks super cute inside. Look at the rooms up online. Just oh. remember when I said I was going to go stay in a hotel for a night? This place was only $200. Oh my god. Now, obviously $200 is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but like oh, for the area, I mean, in Chicago, what's a nice hotel? 500 bucks a night? So Falana says when we move here, she wants to get a moat. That's going to be her daily that, driver. That, uh, Zuki. Oh, the little, I'll put uh, a picture of it on the screen. Yeah. I keep forgetting the name of it, but. I Really nice 911 4S, by the way. Sick as well. So, yeah, that's Fifth Avenue. We're gonna make a right at home, catching with you guys by the pool. All right, we're home finally. Suede's gonna go lay on the tile. Fawn and I might go to the pool for a little bit. <laughs> Top's falling off. Got Fawn's coffee. Let's do it. 
So in typical Florida fashion, it's pouring out, but we're gonna bring suede for a little walk. Vlog's only walking our dog, I guess. We get the pinching collar. This thing's actually like the second collar we put on her, like kind of like a prong collar. So these two little ones go together. So this is a little roller that we use for suede, and she sits and she knows that this controller, obviously I'm not doing any shocking or anything. It's not really a shock collar either, so that's one big thing to always keep in mind. But where's your mommy at? All right, we'll figure it out. Sit. Sit. I love going for walks out here in the summertime, but the storm is so crazy. It like just blew over us. The lightning, you have to be so careful out down here. You could really get in a lot of serious trouble. Looks like it's drizzling a little bit, not too bad. So it's just so ready to go. I want to go to G. Sit. It's kind of dead here in the summer, walking down Pelican Bay, but I love taking Swadey for these walks. And it cools off too, right after the rain. Earlier today, it was almost 116 degrees at the heat index. So yeah, this is so much nicer. so cool because there's like a swampy area on both sides and it's always fun to take suede because Falana and I have been looking for alligators and turtles. Just so peaceful here after a rainstorm in the summertime. I cardio in somehow. <laughs> and also, as we were saying, be very careful when you take your dog out here with the paws, right? You want to make sure you don't burn her paws at all. So Brian and I are actually going to go get badass coffee again today. It's like my second time there today. And then we're going to actually run Publix. Lana's going to make some espresso martinis tonight, which sound absolutely amazing. So her and Brian are going to do that. We're taking the Bronco actually. It needs a lot of work still, honestly. I mean, there's still a lot of mechanical stuff that needs to be fixed. Maybe not so much mechanical, definitely cosmetic. But the truck's coming along. I mean, there's not many night editions that are still around that are actually running. That's pretty cool. So we're going to hop in the Bronco. It's kind of dirty out. It's raining out still a little bit. So it's kind of fitting that we take the truck. The guys we talked to in the building actually drives this GT Roadster, which is super, super sick too. I love the gray on the tan interior. It looks awesome. And seeing the Bronco, the M5 CS, and the GT Black Series. The cars look so, so sick together. The camera lens is fogging up. My camera battery is super, super low, so I don't know how much more I'm going to record. So we picked up Badass really quickly. My camera's probably gonna die, but we have to go home now, get our ID, go to the store, get the uh, alcohol, I guess we need to get like, what, the espresso martini mix or whatever it is, or like Kahlua and something else. And then we're gonna go actually watch the sunset at the beach and then make these espresso martinis later. So I'll let my camera charge. If I let it charge, I'll take you guys to, with me to the beach to watch the sunset. If not, I'll just catch up with you guys later when we're making the martinis and end the video there. I took the hot dogs and seasoned them up to taste more like sausage. And then I'm doing cottage cheese and red sauce. Probably season that up a little bit to make pasta. And then I have kale salad, which is really one of my least favorite. It was upon request of the males in this house that I make espresso martini. Now, badass coffee in Naples does these frozen coffee ice cube thingies. Very scientific, but we're doing a little bit of Kahlua. Kahlua? Kahlua? How do you say it? Kahlua. Turns out because I realized we had regular vodka. Slacking, now, Brian. You're but, slacking. But Brian, remember to get vanilla Baileys. I mean, not vanilla Baileys. Uh, vanilla vodka. So that'll take over for the vanilla Baileys. This looks so sick. Like no baking supplies and sauce. You got some penny pasta. Oh yeah, so you're making penny pasta with a little bit of um, hot dog. Hot <laughs> dog, but it's good. I wish I had maple syrup. Like, give it a sausage Ooh. flavor. Anyways, you guys will see the final product here in a couple seconds. <laughs> Become foodies or something. <laughs> hmm. Ever since I met Falana, I've been eating at home. Falana's an excellent cook for steak, for pasta. The other night she made this like chicken, like fettuccine with angel hair. No, no, it wasn't like, it was angel hair pasta. It was so good. And now she's making drinks and I'm, I don't know what what can't you do? Can you get you the seafood next? A little bit of shrimp and scallops. I could do shrimps and scallops, but I will not be diving into the salmon halibut. Well, final product, kale salad with the garlic olive oil looks amazing, and then we obviously have the pasta with the burrata and everything. Compliments of a chef. Thank you so much, baby. How was it, Brian? Mamma Mia? Cheers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think I'm actually gonna end it here. Again, kind of, you know, coming downstairs, doing the morning routine, but I feel like you guys don't wanna see that for the third time. Got Falana with me, of course. We're gonna go over to Badass, go to Lululemon, do some stuff today, and then we'll be filming a whole brand new video for you guys right after that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the last couple videos, hopefully, and I will see you guys in the next one. We have a really, really big story to tell you guys. It's something that's just crazy. It basically follows the plot of Catch Me If You Can. <laughs>